What up, what up, world? This your boy, Ebb, a.k.a. The Toe Goat, man. And I'm back at y'all with another episode of Goat Talk, man. Where I'm going to be answering all the questions that I get, either in my comments, my DMs, or my emails. I'm going to also be giving y'all some game and some insight into the toy industry. And also a look into my world, man. So listen, y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay tuned. Don't, don't go nowhere, man. And I had to switch my scenery up a little bit for this, this week of uh, Goat Talk. Because I usually do it inside my house in front of the um in front of the green screen, but I'm getting some work done in my house, so uh, and my wife's doing some stuff, so I needed a little bit more uh, quieter place than inside of there. So uh, yeah, I decided to do it in my office. So y'all stay tuned, man. Let's get to this video. And like always, before we hop into this video, if y'all new to the channel, man, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, like that comment section up, and don't forget to ring that notification. So y'all don't miss out on that. It's awesome content. All right, let's get to All it. All right, so the first question I'm going to answer today is, where am I from? Well, to the people that don't know, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, man. The home of the Cleveland Guardians. The home of the Cleveland Cavaliers. The home of the Cleveland Monsters. The home... Of the Cleveland Browns. Roof, 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 roof. Yeah, I'm a diehard Cleveland fan, man. I, I I I can't help it, man. I just can't help it. I love my teams. I love my city. I grew up in the seventh ward. You know, born and raised here, you feel me? Um no place I would rather be. Uh, I love this city, you know what I'm saying? Most definitely uh molded me, uh taught me a lot. And, and, and also gave me a lot. So yeah, I'm from I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. So that leads me to my next questions. What uh, schools did I attend growing up in Cleveland? I attended Waverly Elementary School, Case Elementary School. I attended um, Martin Luther King, Garrett Morgan, Harry Davis. And East High School, you know what I'm saying? Those all the schools that I attended growing up in Cleveland. So the next question that I get a lot, what do I love the most about my job? And there's a couple different aspects of what I love the most about my job. Okay, so on the towing side, like just the regular towing side of the industry, I think what I like the most and what I love the most about my job is just meeting the people, man. Like, because I, I, I love interacting with people. Like, I love meeting people, you know what I'm saying? So I meet a lot of people on the day-to-day of me doing my towing services, you know, I'm my roadside assistant, my regular towing and stuff like that. Man, I meet so many different ethnicities and cultures and people from all walks of life that got so many different stories, you feel me? And I just love the genuine, you know what I'm saying, connection that I may have with different people, you feel me? And there's a lot of people that I done met out of me owning my towing company that I'm friends with to this day that I probably that I will probably be friends with for the rest of my life. And on the repo side of what do I love the most about my job, I think it's the adrenaline rush, man. Because I used to be a wild, wild, wild boy growing up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not too too wild, but I used to be wild. I used to be into some to some crazy stuff, you feel me? So I guess to kind of have something that replaced the wild part of my growing up in my life and me being a dirt bike head and me being this and that, I think it's just the, the, the drilling rush, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I get why doing, like, you know what I'm saying, the repos and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's what I love the most about my job, man. The people in a rush. So... One of the most asked questions that I get more than almost any other question is, what camera setup do I use, man? And I use a lot of different cameras. Like, when I don't feel like like using my professional cameras and I'm on my day-to-day grind, you feel me, and I'm just, like, running and gunning, I use I a, few, a few different cameras that I use. So, first, I use my um, iPhone 14 Pro Max camera, you know what I'm saying? And I use my GoPro 12 camera. Them cameras catch a lot of the shots inside my truck and some outside my truck. But for the camera that everybody loves and everybody be intrigued with, it's, I use my 360 camera that, that I have on the back of my truck. And I use a couple different 360 cameras. I use my GoPro uh, Max 
360 camera. That camera came out about five years ago and it's still putting pressure on the market for real. Uh, and I use my Insta360 camera, which they just came out with this year. Uh, man, them cameras is game changers, bro. Like literally they game changers, man. If you can find a way to implement the 360 cameras into your content or whatever you're doing, man, I think you should look into it because it'll probably turn your whatever you're doing up a thousand percent. Seriously, man. You know, but that's my do my camera. That's my camera setup and them the cameras that I be using on a day to day basis. You know what I'm saying? The film, everything that I'm doing for show. Sure, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not sponsored by any of them products, but they most definitely dogs. Another question that I get a lot is <laughs> from everybody almost is do I be high when I be driving? I guess because my eyes sit so low, man. But that's just what my eyes that's just what my eyes look like. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy because I never did a drug in my life. I never smoked weed. I never drunk alcohol. Period. Like I that's something I just don't do. Like I don't to each his own. You feel me? But I don't do it. Um, and I never have anybody who ask that know me, my friends, man, that grew up with me, they'd be like, man, eh, uh, what? Man, dude don't do nothing. Dude be high off life, man. Like I say, my eyes just low. I got chinky eyes, you feel me? Um, you know, so that's, that's all I can say about that. All right. For the next question that I get is what does goat mean? And it got a couple different meanings. Uh, it means greatest of all time. And it also means go out and tow. You feel me? And I don't. I ain't saying I'm the I'm the best in the world at what I do, man. Like you feel me? But like I am good at what I do. I am great at what I do. You know. But I have ran across so many people that tow cars and that tow for a living, man. And I just be in awe at the at how they perform their craft, man. You know what I'm saying? I love people that put a lot into what they do, man. You feel me? A lot of effort in what they do, a lot of pride in what they do, just like I do, man. I put a thousand percent into going out and towing cars, man. But I put a thousand percent into anything that I do. I don't care what it is, like, you feel me? Uh, I just like to be great at whatever, you know what I'm saying, task that I got in front of me, you feel me? But, um, yeah, that what that what GOAT mean. I mean, greatest of all towing, it means go out and tow. You feel me? That's pretty much all I can say about that also you feel me but yeah for the last question what all do I do outside of towing and um I got a few different things that I that I do I got a clothing line uh the gold apparel and also humble savage apparel which I will be adding um some new designs to we've been working on some stuff you know to add to the website um I'm also coming out with a uh with a beard treatment you know, called the goat beard treatment, which I'm super excited about, which we went, we've been working on night and day, man. Also trying to uh, get that out to the public, man. And, uh, hey, y'all going y'all gonna to love it. Y'all gonna most definitely going to love it, man. Um, let me see what else. Uh, also do, outside of touring, I also do photography and videography, man. Something that's, like, I'm super, super, super passionate about, man. Like... I, I I love my my grandfather used to be in photography, you know what I'm saying, back in the day, man. And, um, and I think that's where I got that that side of me from. But I love doing photography and videography, man. I used to be big on doing weddings, um, which I don't do because I I'm so tied up to like my other content and stuff like that. Um, that's around the touring. But um, uh, if a family or a friend hit me up and be like. Yo, bro, like, I, I need you to shoot this for me. You know, I'm going to definitely dust them cameras off and, and, you know what I'm saying, get to it. I just did an event the other day, a proposal event the other day for one of my wife's friends, you know. And my wife knows she she know I really do the do them events no more. But, you know what I'm saying, when there's people that, that that's close to it and people that we care about and people that we love, you know what I'm saying, I most definitely whip them cameras out, you know, and put together some videos or go film some stuff, you feel me. But, um, yeah, man, that's that's what I'm into. But look, man, I ain't about to hold y'all too long because I got a busy day ahead of me. Um, but yeah, man, listen, man, check them links out in the description, you know what I'm saying, to the camera setup, you know, to the website. You know, we got some big things on the way, big things coming, man, that I'm super excited about. Uh, 
And yeah, man, y'all y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay tuned. And like I say, man, all t all the other times that I end my videos, if y'all new here, y'all made it to the end of this video, and y'all still not subscribed to that channel, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that like button. Light that comment section up. Light it up. And don't forget to ring that notification so y'all don't miss out on none of the future awesome content that I got on the way. Now let's get to it.